Welcome to our celebration of Saturday of the third week of Lent. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. It is he who forgives all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Let's say the confidier together. I confess yes, to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly, greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have, I have failed, failed to do. do. Through, my through my fault, through my fault, through my most, most grievous, grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, ask blessed, blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, virgin all, all the angels and saints, and saints and you, and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. <laughs> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal Mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up to live in his presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord, as certain as the dawn is his coming, and his judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason I smote them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. It is mercy, mercy I, I desire, desire and, and not, not sacrifice. sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, 
in the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. It is, it is mercy, mercy I, I desire, desire and, and not, not sacrifice. sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering? You would not accept it. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humbled, O oh God, you will not spurn. It, it is mercy, mercy I, I desire, desire and, and not, not sacrifice. sacrifice. Be bountiful, O oh Lord, to Zion in your kindness by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with due sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. It, it is, is mercy, mercy I, I desire, desire and, and not sacrifice. sacrifice. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, beat his breasts and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former, for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbled himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In every parable, it's important to be aware of to whom Jesus addressed the parable. And in this case, it was to the righteous who despised everyone else. That's not us. So we look at that parable, and I think we see people on the road to salvation. And Jesus set the standard. Standard is be perfect. And we have the Pharisee and the tax collector. The Pharisee was certainly aware of his own sinfulness and was also aware of the fact that through prayer, God would bring him along that road to become better and better and better. Pharisee had lost sight of the fact that this was a journey to perfection. And he's saying, I'm good enough, Lord. Look at me. Look at all the things I do. Pretty good, huh? God looks down and says to him and maybe to us, that's pretty good. But there's still one more thing. Because we're on a journey to becoming perfect.
Let us pray. That the church may welcome saint and sinner alike into God's household, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the elect and candidates may have courage to confess their failings, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That humility may abound among those who hold power in church and society, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the maligned and rejected may know God's loving embrace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may offer a pleasing prayer to the God of justice, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the sick in our parish, including Clay, Claire Jawar, Fabiola Barcelo, Ernesto Castillo, Harrison Dwelly, and Johann, Joanne Schlemmer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Marion and Al Peepmeyer, Betty Rodriguez, Caroline Lucarelli, and Anna Schmitz, and for all whom this Mass is being offered, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our uh, petitions written in our book of petitions, and all the petitions we hold in our heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. But as we come to you in prayer, we ask that you would cleanse us of our sin, heal us of our evil, and fill us with your grace so that we can come closer to your goal. Hear and answer our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure, grant, we pray, that in reverently handing them on, we may offer you fitting homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts. hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through, through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at table, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Yes. Savior, Savior of, of the world. world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son. And in this saving banquet, graciously, to endow us with his very spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, Robert our Bishop, and all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us around the table of your son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your mercy. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I, I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only, only say, say the word and, and my soul shall be healed. The tax collector stood at a distance, beating his breast and saying, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us. And may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Hold out to your faithful people, Lord, the right hand of heavenly assistance, that they may seek you with all their heart and merit the granting of what they ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.